so in our previous video we saw that how you can use views buttons and text and if you notice something uh, we have been using hard-coded values for text and buttons but uh, now we are going to use the dynamic values so in react native there are several hooks that provided by the inbuilt react native libraries and one of them is use state so we are going to uh, use this use state hook to change the values dynamically in our app so just create a new project and open it on visual studio code and i already run it on the iphone 12 pro max ios simulator so let us start then so there is only one view in here let me just create a text component now if i write something here you will see the name appears here but it is the hard coded value now we want to use the dynamic value so for that we have to import the use text we can give it any name we want just write const the first will be the name of the variable let's say name and second argument will be the function which will be uh, used to change the value of that variable let's say set name use state now we provide the initial value for this name variable let's say programming now what happens when the app is running a state will be created then pro the name variable consists of a uh, uh, value of programming because it is the initial value and we can use this set name function to change the value of the, this variable dynamically okay so we can use this name property here in curly brackets just right name and when i save this you can see it changes programming so this is how we can use this name variable now uh, let's create one simple app when we press on a button the uh, value of this text will change dynamically okay so just remove this create a text component and create a button component and button will automatically import it here okay so button is a self closing component okay. so we give title as change okay so this is our button we can also style it a little bit so we wrap this button in a view in react native we cannot directly apply styling to button property so we have to use a view styles dot let's say we will create button <sighs> let's uh, apply background color red apply some padding it's a 10 okay and if you want to change the color of text we can do directly here
okay so this is our test component let's use the name property here let's apply some margin okay so the idea is that whenever we click on this button the text will be changed okay so we can oh, do on press for event handling so what we can do is we can directly use the arrow function here but uh, this time we are not going to do that we'll be using a separate external function and apply this and call this function on the button click so for that let's create a arrow function let's name it click me okay so in order to change the state of this name variable we'll be using set name function set name and we change the value to let's say knowledge now on the button press on press event we'll be calling this function we'll be using click me function okay so what happens when we click on this button the click me button what uh, will be getting called and the name property here will be changed from programming to knowledge let's save this and as you can see the programming text property is changed to now knowledge so this is how you can use states you can also use object boolean integer any type you want let me just create another one let's say person set person now we'll be creating a object which consists of a name let's say tony and age age uh, will be an integer 30 so if we create another text property and we can use the person and the name property and my age is now we will use the age property now say my name is Tony and my age is 30 and we can also change these values you set person now we'll change the name to let's retain and age 24 now when I click on the change you can see the programming text changed to knowledge and the person name is changed to bridge and age is changed to 24 so this is how you can use states uh, you can give it any name you want and you can create a floating type of state integer you can even also create objects just like we did it here and you can change it by creating an external function and assign to the button press so that's it for this video thanks for watching